this is a horse that he can kind of get, um, if I do a lot of picking on him, kind of gets him, uh, gets him real more nervous than he already wants to be. So when he does stuff like flip his head, and I don't make a big deal about it. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and just slow him down at the barrel, not actually ask him to stop. Because some horses, you can stop them and stop them and stop them, and it makes them aggravates him a little bit. So I lope to the barrel, slow him down, just ask him to uh, collect himself and slow his speed down a little bit at the barrel. You see how he's going in the third barrel on the wrong lead. This is an older horse. He should know better than to do that, but I'm not going to make a big deal about it because he knows what lead to go around in the barrel. So I'm gonna, that's not really what I'm working on right now. Just lots of stopping stuff. See how he kind of wants to pick his head up a little bit. Uh, just remember to keep your hands uh, real low and kind of seesaw when a horse wants to do that and, and bring down at the pole. Like right there, he's going to go ahead and soften up a little bit. Sherry, can you tell me a little bit about the type of headgear and the bit you're using on a horse like this? I know a lot of people, and myself included, have in the past reached for a little bit heavier bit and maybe a tie-down on a horse like this that wants to get a little pushy and a little chargy. Um, could you explain how you're keeping him calm and what you're using on him? Right now I'm using the short shank three-piece twist on him. I have the martingale. I use the martingale a lot on my young horses as well as the older horses. I prefer it over a tie-down to work them slow just because it's a little bit more natural than a tie-down. They can go ahead and get their head up, but you still can get their nose. And I feel sometimes a tie-down takes away and makes a horse a little bit stiffer. Now, I've used a tie-down a lot in competition, so, um, but I, as far as working a horse slow and, and stuff, I feel like I... Um, I prefer to use the martingale over a tie-down and because um, I still, if a horse like this wants to hit a tie-down, kind of get his head up in the air, he might uh, make him a little bit more aggravated than he already wants to be, kind of distract him. This is a pretty fragile-minded horse and so I, I try to to be firm and I, I ask him to do things, but I think that a horse like this, sometimes you need to make sure that you don't do a lot of picking on one and so as soon as they you feel like you've accomplished whatever that is that you're working on them, then you know you go on to the next step to where you don't just pick on a horse that like all the time.